Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with what I hope is another useful video for you. Um, I'm grouping this in with my series of the basics, uh, and the basics cover, well, precisely that, the basics. Today, I want to go through the process of removing and replacing a valve inside of a cylinder head. Uh, you may run into a situation at some point to where you either have a burned up valve or something like that and you need to replace it. Well, rather than sending it off to the machine shop, you could possibly do it yourself. I'm not going to cover valve lapping in this video, but I am going to cover removal and replacement in a couple of different ways. So why don't we head over to the workbench and we'll check out what I got going on over there to show you how to get valves out of cylinder heads. Okay, as you can see, I have removed the camshaft and camshaft retainer from this uh, old Honda cylinder head so we can gain access to the valves themselves. It is a 16 valve cylinder head uh, and I'm gonna go through how to uh, remove them, as I said, in two different ways. Now, you may have seen one of these tools. This is a valve spring compressor. Uh, and this works in most instances. In this instance, it will work because the uh, valve is actually sticking up above this ridge on the cylinder head, but some valves sit down inside uh, the cylinder head and you would uh, need other means in order to do that. One of the things that I have to do that is, uh, this is a special tool from Honda that actually attaches to your existing valve spring compressor to reach those valves that may be further down inside the cylinder head. But after I go through the process of showing you how to do it with this method, I'm gonna show you another method that works well on both types. Okay, here's a closer look at the cylinder head itself and the valves. As you can see, there's the top part here, the outer part, which is the spring retainer, and inside are what is referred to as the keepers. In the center here is the top of the valve stem. So you can see it extends down into the cylinder head. And if we flip it up, the bottom part of the valve is right here. So the valve passes through the cylinder head in this area. This is an intake valve. And right now you can actually see the valve protruding down in. You, you would be the intake manifold where you're placed right now. As you can see, we have both valves there uh, inside that cylinder head. So, and up the top there, that little bump you see is the valve guide. Right, well here we have our, I guess you could call it old school sty style valve spring compressor. It has these uh, little adjustable jaws here. You turn this and this will make it larger or smaller depending upon the uh, type of valves that you're looking to get out. Uh, this part here presses against the bottom of the valve. Uh, inside the combustion chamber side and this presses down the top. I'll start by opening the tool up. Um, you can also see that this depth is adjustable as well. So you can turn this in and out depending upon the size of the cylinder head you're dealing with. I think I've got this set up pretty close uh, to what we need. And as I said, we'll just place that lower part down there and the upper part in the valve itself. And then as I move the lever, you can see the valve spring compress, and also you saw one of those keepers fall away. Lock the tool down. And I'm always leery about putting my fingers in here, so I just grab a magnet and take that keeper. The other keeper fell off, which uh, is okay, but you gotta be careful using this tool because sometimes the keeper might get a little stuck, and when you go to compress it like this, one of the keepers might go flying out. So it might be a good idea to take like a rag or something and lay it over the top of this so that should that happen, the keeper won't go too far, uh, such as the one that came out of here. But now that we've done that, we can just uh, release the tension on the tool. The valve spring will come up and we're good to go. Now that it's open, you can remove the valve spring and the retainer. There's a retainer there. There's the valve spring. Here's the keepers that came out. And now we can just simply push the valve and there we have it. Got ourselves one intake valve. Pretty cool, huh? Now we need to put it back in. To do that, simply Slide the valve back up inside the cylinder head. We need to take the spring and the retainer uh, and get those ready to go back down. We're once again going to compress 
the spring with our spring compressor. You gotta make sure the valve can go through the top there. Axle grease. I've got a little bit of it here. This is what's gonna hold the keepers in place while you uh, release the tension on this. So it's, this, is, this is what I do. I take my keepers and a little bit of grease. Just a little dab is all you really need. And I put it down inside the keeper. This will sort of work like glue and it's grease, so it's not gonna hurt anything for the engine internals. I'm gonna place that on top of the valve. I'm gonna do the same with the other keeper. Once again, just take a little bit of grease down inside of it and place it on the valve. A little tedious. Now when you release the tension on the tool make sure you do it slowly because once again if it catches an edge on one of these it could go flying so be mindful of that and try to go slowly and deliberately as you release tension. There we go. Now at the beginning of this video I said I was going to show you how to do this two ways. That is what the old school style uh, spring compressor. Uh, I've actually also seen those in pneumatic form. They hook up to an air hose, you just press a button and it automatically goes chunk. But you don't have that same kind of control and like I said, those keepers can go everywhere. Well, there is another solution. Not only for doing this uh, in this instance, but as I mentioned before, on some cylinder heads, the valves are recessed down inside the cylinder head and you won't have access with this type of tool because it simply will not be able to extend down in there without, as I said, a special attachment such as this, as I had from Honda. Um, and I will post links in the description to all tools in this video, especially if I can find, yeah, I got a part number off this Honda one. So for an alternative, we have this here kit from Lyle. Um, it is the 36050 valve keeper remover installer set. This thing kicks butt. And I'm not just saying that, Let's see for yourself. All right, let's perform the same operation. Um, let's, let's get jiggy with it. Let's go to the valve right next door. Step one, get a, a rag or some suitable something to stick up under the valve you're trying to remove. And you do this because when you, when you push down on this valve, you don't want the valve pushing back down inside uh, the, the cylinder head. So you want it to try to stay in place. So you gotta put something up underneath it or rags. Just a, a quick, easy choice for me here but we're gonna go for his neighbor right next door here. Okay, rags in position underneath inside the combustion chamber. Uh, the tool comes in two sizes. There's one for, this, this one's for larger valves, and this one's for uh, smaller valves. <sighs> Operation is rather simple. Uh, here's one thing to remember. This is the removal tool. This is the installation tool. Uh, when I first used one of these, I kind of tried to only use this and didn't quite understand it. Uh, but this, this uh, will make it a lot easier. So to remove, you want to separate the uh, upper parts of the tool. Quite simply, you just uh, place this right on top of the valve itself. Now you can do this one of two ways. We can come in and smack it with a hammer or with these lighter valve springs like this, we can actually just do this by hand and just push down. But let's, let's do the drama and the instant gratification of, of the hammer. Let's do that, shall we? All you gotta do is hit it. One more. There we go. You may have to hit it more than once, but look. Here is the uh, spring retainer. And look inside there. Our keepers, both of them. There's a magnet that, that grabs those things when you, when you hit it or push down. So now we can simply, once again, just remove our valve. And there it is, the other intake valve. I know it's terribly exciting. There's the view from inside. It's kind of like he has a black eye or something. <laughs> All right, uh, insert the valve. 
back in. Still want to keep our rag inside the combustion chamber. And uh, Honda uses these positive type valve seals, so if you're doing this to replace valve seals, uh, you would actually have to pry off this old valve seal and take like a, a 10 millimeter socket or something like that, I think that's about the right size. And you can actually hammer those new seals back down into place after you get the old ones off. Uh, but these type of valve seals are very good at uh, sealing, but you know, they do get, they do get old. They do uh, uh, sometimes leak. So if you're uh, looking to do that operation, this is a perfect video for that. Just remember there's a little spring around the outside of that seal that needs to remain there in order for it to seal properly. Now to reinstall. Gonna install our spring. Gonna take our keepers out of our tool. I really like that there's that magnet because it can grab things. I'm gonna reassemble the tool. Gonna to take my spring retainer, stick it down in there. I'm gonna take my keepers and position them inside the retainer in the direction they go. You'll notice these keepers are beveled, so one side is thinner than the other. You want the thick part towards the top, and you can see that little spot there where it locks into place. Uh, that is the, the keeper of the keeper. Okay, so now you can see I've got those positioned down in there. There's the pointy business end of this that uh, needs to go on here. And this is really important that you have that rag or something positioned up under there because you don't want to be pushing down on the valve. It'll be trying to run away from you as you're trying to uh, put this together. But simply put the uh, uh, business end of the tool right here in the center, line everything up, and then compress the spring. You can hit this with a hammer, but honestly, I, I prefer just to push down on, on it like this. If I can get the right angle, you're kind of in the way a little bit. It had already been done. <laughs> See? And it's, they're already in place. It's good to go. And just to show you how quickly you can do this, um, if you're performing this operation, like say, replacing those valve seals. done. <laughs> and that works for uh, valves that are recessed inside of a cylinder head. So now you might be thinking, Eric, you're always working on Hondas. Why don't you show us something else? Okay, ask and you shall receive. We've got the larger tool. Put our rag up under the combustion chamber. We could also use this tool if we wanted. Take the, uh, like I said, separate the outer part. Hose clamps. Okay. Right here. Keepers are conveniently stored down inside. And also has a uh, positive type seal. Sometimes you'll see umbrella seals that are just stuck down on here. Hmm. I guess we can see why this V8 uh, doesn't get the same gas mileage as that uh, four-cylinder Civic, huh? Since that valve is like <laughs> almost three times this size. See, this spring has a different design. It tapers towards the top. Put those in place. Oh, almost forgot my rag. You can see that valve already dropped down just from doing that.
Really glad I wore my safety glasses because that went right into my eye. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. And maybe this time, a little help from my friend. These stouter springs like to be smacked around a bit. You just gotta be sure once these are in here that they're seated because if they're half seated in here, they can fly apart like you just saw a moment ago. So you've gotta make sure that they're completely seated down in there. Once they are, they're locked into place and it should stay there. So uh, let's wrap this up. You know, come to think about it, I could have made this one into like a tour review video, but actually this is more general information, I think. Uh, like I said, if you, if you have leaking valve seals or something, you'd be doing something like this. It's kind of not too uncommon for Honda exhaust valves to burn up on occasion, causing a loss of compression. Move the cylinder head, you see a cracked valve. Well, you can just throw a new one in, lap it in, and uh, you should be good to go. Uh, you can test. Well, 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 we'll leave that to another video. We'll just leave this video as how to get valves out of a cylinder head. How's that? We'll uh, leave the rest for another, another video. But I hope this information was useful to you. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this and showing you the different types of tools and different methods that you could use to do this with. Uh, links in the description to those tools and any other pertinent information that uh, could go along with this video. Uh, hey, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. There's a welcome video there to introduce you to all the wonderful things we have at ericthecarguy.com to help you with those automotive issues should you have them. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty.